Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Shimmers Education Team. And don't forget you can get a free paint if you mention my name in the comments section when you are checking out at the Shimmers Paint Store online. So don't forget about that. I'm going to make a Christmas layout today. I've got a ton of Christmas stuff out on my desk because I've been making a ton of Christmas layouts the past few weeks. And this is some stuff that I'm going to be using from Pink Fresh Studio, the December Days collection. And a lot of this is from my most recent hip kit, the November hip kits. And so I've got a lot of it left over. And I thought I wanted to do some fussy cutting. I'm really looking at these pattern papers with uh, the cut apart things on it. And then the one behind it that's got all those cute little houses on it. And so I'm going to do some fussy cutting here. I'm going to cut out those two stocking banners and some of the houses. And this is a picture from three years ago, I think, uh, Christmas morning. Uh, Paige sitting there with a present in her lap and a mess around her of everything that is under the tree. And so I kind of wanted to create um, a layout that kind of felt homey. Uh, you know, so these houses sort of made me think of you know just that homey comfy feeling Christmas morning when you're in your house you're still in your pajamas it's just nice and warm and cozy and so that's kind of the feel that I wanted to go for with that being said I'm gonna start working on my background um, and this is just some plain white basil marshmallow cardstock and what I'm doing here is I actually wanted to use like a light blue cardstock but I did not have any and so when in doubt make it yourself right so I'm going to use some shimmers to do that. I'm taking the pasties, that's the white texture paste there, and it's called Salt of the Earth, and it is a smooth texture paste. And I mixed in it some Inklings Me in Blue. Now that is one of my favorite Inkling blue colors. It's a light blue. Uh, it looks a lot lighter here because I mixed it with white, but it is a gorgeous light blue. It's, it's a light blue, but it's not super super light oh that's a terrible description you can see it there in the little pot it's bold but it's light it's not like a bold turquoise it's a soft icy blue but it stands out and it's very very shimmery and you can uh, really see it later on but it does when you mix it with something like the texture paste some of the shimmer may subside a little bit but it's still going to be very very pretty now, I wanted to get some different blues on there, so I sprayed some Jenny B Blue. That is Vibes. That's probably my all-time favorite Vibes color. And this is another Vibes. It's newer. It's called Snow Way Man, and it's more of an icy, icy, turquoisey blue. Oh, once again, I'm terrible at describing these colors. But, um, yeah, you can see how pretty they look together. Now, I've got to have a little bit of green going on. I thought I would mix a little green in the action since I've got some green going on in those little stockings. And this is one of the newer uh, Inklings, and it's called Green Goddess. And it is the most beautiful green color I've seen in a long time. It's not grass green, but it's not pine green. It's the perfect Christmas green, I think. This gold here is one of my all-time favorite gold Inklings, and that's called Minor Minor 49er. And it is beautiful. Honestly, the finish of it reminds me of Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. And look at the shimmer there. It's very, very pretty. And what I love about the Inklings is you can really water them down to make them super thin and watery. But if you if you don't add a ton of water and you and you make them a little bit thicker consistency, and you do, I would say like a splatters with your brush, it's gonna leave kind of like a thick splatter. So you're going to get some texture and dimension. So you can actually get a couple of different textures and looks with the same paint, depending on how much water you add to it. And so you'll be able to see that later on in some close-ups, because I'm going to have some really thin gold splatters. And then where I splattered it later, it was a little bit thicker, and it's going to actually kind of stand up off the page in a thick dot, if that makes any sense. So... I was in the mood to use a lot of embellishments, and uh, I don't tend to do that a lot because I focus so much on my backgrounds, but I did a lot of this fussy cutting, and I wanted to kind of create little clusters of the houses around the picture, and then kind of do the little stocking banners underneath it. And I want to situate my picture kind of over to the side. I do my picture in the middle a lot, and I just kind of wanted to get random and off-center and different for this layout. Um, I decided I needed a little more green in the action here. I keep saying action today. 
Why do I keep saying action? I think that's like the third time I've said action. Who knows where I get these words of the day? I don't even know. Anyway, gold and green, same colors I just used earlier. And I'm just adding the brush, adding a little bit of water, using my fingers, smudging it around. You know, there's no right or wrong way to apply this stuff. You know, I use the packaging a lot, but on this layout, I don't use the packaging technique at all. I use the palette knife to scrape on all of that texture paste. And now I'm just using my brush. I'm splattering. I'm actually brushing the paint on, but I don't want it to look like brush strokes. Look how shimmery that is. That gold is gorgeous. So pretty. And I just kind of wanted this blue, green, and gold cloud of color around everything. And I think that that is what I got. So I'm going to start to work on all of the placement of everything. And I've got a lot of the Pink Fresh Studio puffy stickers and die cuts and some of the hip kit exclusive things. And I'm just going to sort of start sticking in stickers in and out of these little houses. I found some Christmas trees that I thought were cute. And uh, I'm going to wind up using some enamel dots later on and some enamel, or not enamel, but uh, wood veneer buttons. And just all kinds of little things. And that's a chipboard frame. That's also Pink Fresh Studio. I just cut it in half so I could use top of the top of it at the top and the bottom of it at the bottom so you could see it because it was a little too short to leave as is. And I wanted it to be peeking up at the top and the bottom. And I like to, when I do a cluster of things like this, I like to kind of glue it all together and so I can move it around as one big unit instead of having to you know, remove all the houses and then stick them back on because I change my mind from time to time. And, you know, I like to go back and forth with the background and add paint here and add paint there. And so I don't want to have to put everything down and take it away, put it down, take it away every five minutes. And so if I glue it all together, now it moves as one big piece and it's just a lot easier. So I pulled out some thread from my stash and I've got some light mint color there. And I've got um, a light blue color and a red, but I don't wind up using the red. Now here's a Christmas tree cut file that I cut on vellum. And I don't remember the name of it, but it is one of Paige Evans' Christmas tree cut files. She has several different Christmas tree cut files that are available in the Silhouette store. And this one contains two Christmas trees. And they have little patterns on the middle. And... Um, I will try to look up the name of that cut file and link it below, so remind me if I forget if you want to know which one it is. These are some washi tape strips, some leatherette or uh, pleather stickers, and I'm just trying to go through everything. That's from the Crate Paper Fa La La collection, and again, all of this came from the November hip kits. I'm just looking for small pieces to put around these little houses, and I thought these little presents were cute because that's what was happening in the picture. And I know the presents are kind of big for the proportion of those little houses. But again, this is kind of random. I, I wasn't going for, you know, a realistic size proportions. And so I just kind of wanted to tuck things in that were either houses, presents, or trees. And I, I added that vellum tree in the background just because I wanted an element of something detailed but subtle. You could see it, but you could still see everything on top of it. It doesn't really take away from anything. I decided to add in a little bit more of a darker green to kind of match that darker green tree that's over there on the right. And this is a colorings. It's called Keep Palm, like palm tree. And it is a beautiful green color. And the bottle that I have, the, I've had this bottle for probably, I've been on this design team almost three years. And I think that was one of the first ones that I got. So I've had it for quite a while. And the the bottle style is old and the nozzle is old, so it's not spraying very well. But the color in it is still great. So I added that in and now I'm going to pop up the little stocking banners with some foam just to give a little bit of shadowing effect and a little bit of dimension. Because uh, I did add some foam behind the picture, but everything else is going to be flat. And I'm going to make sure that everything is glued down. The stickers don't really want to stick when you use mixed media goodies on the background. So I always try to add some glue to make sure they stay put. And these are just some die cuts, again, from Pink Fresh Studio. I don't want to go too big. I don't want to, you know, everything here is kind of on the small side. 
and I'm beginning to think, what am I going to do for a title and where is it going to go? So I start to play around with word embellishments. And I also have a flare button there. And I decide to change it. This flare button is actually from last year's hip kit. And there's a big open spot right there in my picture. It's basically where the wall was. And I know my picture's black and white, but it's a big black dark spot. And there's absolutely nothing there except wall. And so I thought, you know what, let's put a little flare button right on top of it and kind of jazz up the part of that picture. It's not, you know, it's not covering up anything important. Um, and sometimes I like to overlap things on top of the picture. And ordinarily I don't overlap kind of off center like this, but I felt like it worked because I like the blue color. It matches. It says tis the season. And um, yeah, I wrapped some green thread under it. That 25 is from a Project Life card from HipKit from the last year also, and I just decided to cut it out on a whim and stick it in there. It was the December 25th or Christmas morning, so I thought, let's just do it. Why not? And this is from another Project Life card. It's got a little Christmas tree on it. We're going to stick that in there as a layer. I was just in a layering mood. I just wanted to use a lot of little things that I had in these kits um, that I hadn't used this year or last year. And things were just matching and things were just going together and that's a little puffy sticker at the top that says home for the holidays and this is from this year's hip kit some of the exclusive well one set was exclusive and one set was from pink fresh studio they look very similar but I'm gonna add a couple of those as well as some of the pink fresh enamel dots and I think that this layout I stuck to traditional colors pretty well you know I mean <laughs> I added the blue in, but it does have a lot of red and green and gold, so I think that qualifies as Christmas colors. I added in some more of the Keep Palm over here to the right. And I turned my lights in a different direction, so that part is a little bit darker because the reflection of that plastic was blinding me, so I didn't want it to be too bright in your eyes. Back to the Ginny B Blue. I need more splatters, of course. My background can ever be completely finished, I swear. I could keep going back and forth with the background forever. Little word stickers from last year, again. And this one says Christmas Magic. And I think that's going to be my title. It's really small, but it matches. It gives a pop of red to that area. And then I'm going to pull one from this one that says Christmas Morning. Because, you know, this is just your standard Christmas morning picture. I don't really have... Um, you know, the need for a really crazy, special, unique title. It is what it is, and so we're just going to put put it right down there at the bottom of the picture. I'm going to draw some lines and add my journaling. I'm just going to use my black pen this time because I felt like that part of the layout was really stark white. And uh, with the photo being black and the houses being trimmed and black and everything, I thought the black pen worked well. And then I decided that I needed to do a little bit of something up at the top and the bottom. So this was kind of an experiment. And I changed it a little bit. But this is some red and white striped washi tape. I thought I'll do a little cluster at the top and a cluster at the bottom. And it looks okay, but I wind up moving the bottom one. More Pink Fresh Studio stickers. That one says, Be Filled With Joy. And this one says, Be Filled With Wonder. And I'm going to wind up moving the bottom one to right underneath the journaling. And I like how this is looking. This was, this was uh, fun to do because um, I don't use a lot of embellishments a lot of the time on my layouts. And so I really wanted to challenge myself to use up a lot of things that I had left over and things that were just out on my desk. And so I think I did a decent job of putting a dent in it. Little washi tape stars. And then I finished it off with another little wood veneer button at the top and the bottom and some gold stitching through the top and the bottom. But that's the final layout. I like how it turned out. It was fun to use up some stash, new and old, that I had laying around. And um, it was fun to kind of use the, the traditional colors of red and green. But of course, I had to add some flair in there with some blues and golds but there you can see some of the the gold how it looks thicker definitely can achieve that with any of the inklings or creamies depending on how much water you add so you get totally different looks there's some of the smooth gold so anyway let me know if you guys have any questions and i will make sure i leave all of the 
colors over on the blog. So thanks for watching and have a great day.